some motion that just kind of happens with the paper and the dipping underneath, the kind of way it sloshes back. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it more with mycozo papers because the fibers are longer. You can kind of see like the wave of how they move and then settle. Um, you see a little bit in the out of it's, it's kind of why, it's what I like most about handmade paper actually, is that it's not, it's not really one solid color. You can see the movement of the way the pulp kind of lays on the, the mold, which is exciting. And on certain sheets you can see, like on here you can see the, the texture of the screening, which kind of comes through when it dries properly too. There's a lot of different levels of texture for me, even though it's a smooth paper. I prefer texture, but uh, obviously I need to make money, so <laughs> the calligraphers like the smooth stuff. I get water everywhere. When I first started, I would just make paper in my kitchen. <laughs> And it was always kind of a battle of trying not to get water everywhere. So I, I, it's nice to know that I can work without making a mess because that's what I'm going to have to do when I move to Philly. <laughs> but this floor is awesome. I can just do whatever I want. Obviously, you can see that it's very colorful. I'm good at spilling things. Probably my most popular size paper I like making. I had a good friend who's piece of furniture maker, an older gentleman. He helped me uh, make all these molten decals, which is incredible. I like making. Certain fibers, especially my calligraphy ones, I want to make sure they're thick enough. Um, so I usually make a couple test sheets. Uh, to figure out the thickness, because so, it always kind of varies with each batch, even when it's the same fiber. Um, and then I like to look at it in the light. I don't want any light to shine through, so this is a great weight. it to a certain level. It's, the more you agitate it, the more it's going to kind of disintegrate into the fat. And I like those long fibers. Um, so I only agitate it a little bit. I'm looking for lumps. Let's um, put all those things on the wall there. I think I'm going to throw them out because they make, obviously they make a lump in the paper and it's not cool. Like that's right there. White. This is actually the hardest paper for me to make. It's the most labor intensive. Like I said earlier, it gets little bits of dirt and shit in it, and it's annoying. But it's pretty. Kind of like this sticky liquid. Alright, I'm gonna use my big mold. This is 
my favorite mall. It's so big, and Lou helped me make it. Um, so yeah, uh, the glass, I'm working with um, tandem glassware in, uh, in Dresden, but that really started um, with my, my glass lamps that I was, that's how everything started. It started from wine bottles and then it moved to whatever kind of wholesale uh, glassware I was able to find and, and experiment with and play with. Um, so it's, it was really exciting to uh, be able to have to bring it to the next level and uh, to have that hand-blown glass piece is really exciting for me um, and I, I can't wait to go see what they're doing with it actually because it's a uh, I, I took so long to figure out exactly what I wanted for these uh, the shapes and I, now this, this is my first time that I was actually able to control the whole um, design of the lamp not just the the lampshade so it's super exciting for me it's like the final level of this vessel lamp design that I work on and and then after that, I'm going to start working on some other variations, but the glass is super exciting and I, I really can't wait to go see what they're doing. I, I mean, you know, I'd love it to grow. I mean, everyone thinks of those. What do you want in the next five years? Um, I honestly, I, I'm not doing this to make a ton of money. Really, it's more about. I'd love to do something that that I that I enjoy. I'm, I'm one of those people that you know, I can't I can't work a desk job, and uh, it wouldn't make me happy. So, if, as long as I can kind of exist with this and and making beautiful pieces for people and their special events and weddings and things that I know people enjoy. Um, you know, it's great to, to sell things as long as I can keep up and um, I have a bunch of more lamp designs I really want to work on. Um, I'm really fleshing out my uh, stationary collection so I have a lot of ideas and it's uh, sometimes they're all kind of jumbled up and roll right out but um, I'm excited to kind of finally have a chance to focus on that for a few months or, or a couple years as long as I can.